Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Karen Joseph here with Seven Networking and Fab right now. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to share this out. So when you're coming on, please tell me your name and share a little bit about yourself, maybe what your business is, where you're from, because we are going to chat today about building relationships. Good morning, Franny. How are you? Welcome. I'm just going to refresh my page and share this out for a bit. So, hey, Tessa, 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 how are you doing? Welcome. How is everyone today? Nancy Naylor, thanks for hopping on. I'm going to share this out. You know, it takes me a little bit of time. <laughs> Brooke, welcome. So if you're coming on, please let us know who you are, what you do, because we're talking about building relationships today. Good morning, good morning, and... A great way to build relationships is to let people know what you do, right? So, all right, let me share this out for a bit. And welcome. Yes, it's been a wild month for you. All right, well, now the kids are back in school. So, hey, Patricia, how are you doing? Kids are back at school. Hope things settle down for you a bit. So, yes, welcome. Welcome, everyone. You love the laugh. All right. Oils, personal driver, and a notary. Good to know. And tell us where you're located, Brooke. Keep typing in, my friends, who you are, what you do, and where you are located so that others can get to know who you are. So I'm going to share this in our Sensational Streamers group. Hey, Candice. How are you doing this morning? Welcome. How's everyone? Hi, Patricia. Laser Inch Loss Body Recontouring System, and Nancy Naylor. Hello, Nancy. She is with Rodan and Fields Premium Skin Care. So, yes, Chandler and all over the East Valley, Nancy Naylor is in Queen Creek. Candice is on here. She gave a great webinar last night. It was great about Facebook groups. So all the FAB members who missed it will be getting a link today. So thank you, Miss Candice. Anika, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. So I'm sharing this out. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing it out as well. And then we are going to get started in a minute. Hello, Edie, welcome. So yes, please share this out. Gilbert, Arizona is in the house and I'm sharing it on the seven wall as well. I'll share it in the seven group so that our seven members can watch. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're ready. Takes me a bit of time to share things out. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you to all of the live viewers. Thank you for sharing this out, Patricia. Thank you to all the replay viewers as well. So my friends, welcome. Let's chat about building relationships because I always say, Building relationships is building relationships is the fuel for your small business, right? It's all about meeting people, connecting with them, and then building the know, like, and trust factor. Good morning, Diana. How are you? Type in what you do, honey. So once you meet people, then what do you do? Do you just say, hey, nice to meet you and walk away? Well, I hope not. You're out and about, right? You're only going to meet people if you're out and about. Sitting in your house, I always say no one is going to knock on your door and say, hey, Fran, do you sell weight loss coffee? Probably not. That is not going to happen. you got to get out there. you got to build those relationships. So, how do you build those relationships, right? So you meet people, you say hello to them, you extend your hand, a smile on your face, you say, hi Nancy, nice to meet you. And then you start chatting, right? So, we're Dan and Fields, Edie, yes, welcome. So, oh, you did your slim roast this AM, woo, great. Hey Lola, how are you? So, you can, um, when you're meeting people, right, and you know, I always thought that meeting people and building relationships was a very natural thing. I grew up doing it. I learned it from my parents. But what I realized as I got older, that for some people, it does not come naturally. And But you can learn how to do it. It can be learned, and that is the good news. Yes, very skinny right now. Nancy, very skinny right now. So these are skills that can be learned if you take the time. So you might want to get out a piece of paper and a pen to take some notes today. 
So, rule number one, when you meet someone, you stick out your hand, you smile, you say hello, nice to meet you, my name is Karen, you know, what's your name, I don't think we've met before, and then the first thing is you have to be a good listener. People love to talk about themselves, right? People love to talk about themselves, so you have to be a good listener. And what goes with that is you have to be good at asking someone questions, right? You have to ask them questions. So what kind of questions can you ask someone if you meet them, say, at a networking event? Maybe you can ask them, how long have you been in your business, right? And then they'll start talking, right? They'll start talking and they'll talk and they'll talk and they'll talk and they'll talk because people love to talk about themselves. Maybe what other questions could you ask someone that you've just met? Maybe you can ask them, oh, Nancy's excited. Maybe you can ask them, hello, Mario, how are you doing? Mario, we're talking about building relationships. You meet someone at an event, maybe a networking event, and a great way to start building that relationship is to be a good listener and to ask some good questions. So what is, you can, yes, you can definitely talk about the weather, worst case scenario. People in Phoenix, I noticed, love to talk about the weather. Oh, there was a big dust storm yesterday. So it's a great topic. You can bring it up. Worst case scenario. Where, did you see that huge haboob yesterday? People love to talk about the weather. They like to talk about their business too. How many years have you been doing your business? Yes. Do you live in this area? Exactly, exactly. Where do you live? I always ask that to people because I find if they're in the same area I'm in, bang, we have that common bond. We can say, hey, we both live in Chandler, right? If someone says they live in Chandler and I live in Chandler, and then you can say, hey, what part of Chandler do you live in? Right, you're perpetuating, you're keeping the conversation going. Joy said you can ask them, what made you decide to do what you do? Exactly. Where do you come from? What is the most fascinating part of your business? Hey, Trisha, good morning. How are you? So if we got that down. First thing is you got to be a good listener and you have to start asking those good questions, right? Mario said, ask about someone's family. Mario did a great live stream yesterday. He was talking about, you know, not throwing in the towel, not giving up. He mentioned his family and that is what I want to, want to mention next. Be the good listener, right? Be the good listener, and you have to remember the things that are important to people that they're talking about. How's your day going? Yes, you dropped the kids off at school today. Tell them a story, right? Tell them a story. Make them feel comfortable with like-minded conversation. I always ask them questions that I have to do with their family. I look for commonalities and that I can relate to. Great, Lola. I talk to people to create friendships. It is the same for my business. Simple question is, how are you doing, says Mario. Sometimes that's a loaded question. Sometimes you do not want to hear the answer. But like Lola said, look for those commonalities. And if someone says to you, hey, my mom is having surgery next week, that is the type of thing that you need to remember. So if you can't remember it in your head, you need to go home, you need to write this kind of stuff down, keep notes. Then you can follow up with someone. And when next week comes, you can say, hey, how did your mom's surgery go? Think of how that person is going to feel if you remember that important moment in their life that they're getting ready for, their mom's surgery, and you're checking in and saying, hey, how's mom doing? How did the surgery go? Yes, the details are huge, it's personalized. And it could be someone could say, hey, I'm going to Sedona, you know, today with my family for the next five days. And then they get back from Sedona and you send them a note and say, or pick up the phone and say, hey, how was that vacation in Sedona, right? So ask them questions and then remember, you have to remember what they're talking about. And you have to be present in the conversation with them. If you're chatting with someone, you wanna make sure you're interested in what they're saying. You're not just talking, you're not just, your eyes are not just wandering all over the room, looking who else is walking in. But you need to be present and you need to be making those mental notes. And another thing is, when you're building relationships, see how you can help the other person. Yes, great connection statements. How can you help the other person, right? Maybe the other person says, hey, 
I'm looking for a babysitter. My kids just started school. Do you know anyone who's a babysitter in the area? Think of how you can help that other person. Maybe you see something on Facebook, some kids that are looking to be babysitters. Reach out to them. It does not have to be related to business. Building relationships is about anything in life. It does not need to be related to business. I say this over and over again. If people get to know you, like you, and trust you, they are going to want to do business with you. It doesn't matter if you're selling rocks on the corner or if you're selling, selling, selling skincare. People who get to know you, who you show interest in, who you are around and you're listening to what they have to say, they are going to want to do business with you. Nothing worse than, worse than talking with someone and they are looking for their next conquest. Exactly, Diana, exactly. And Nancy says it's actually better if it's not business related at first. You're right, it's all about building that relationship, making that connection. You don't want someone to come up to you at an event and say, hey, have you try tried my oils? You know, these are the best oils ever. You have to try them. And what happens then? People are like, get away from me, right? They're like, get far, far away from me. And they don't even want to talk to you. And remember, making that first impression, that's what really matters. That's what people are going to remember most about you. Be helpful to them. Yes. Value added relationship. All right. Let me look down at my notes. Building relationships to create the bond. Exactly. Next thing is be positive. Be positive. Nobody wants to be around the Debbie Downer the person who is always complaining, the person who always has drama in their life, right? That person, that person's a very, very hard person to build the relationship with. It's hard to be around that person. They kind of suck a lot of life from you. That's right. Positive and genuine. Smile on your face. Hello, Karen Nowicki. Welcome. People want to be, they don't want to be around people who gossip. If someone tells you something in confidence, that's something that you need to keep in confidence. Don, Tony, that's right. Be a magnet. Be the person that other people want to be around. When they walk into that room, do they want to be around you? Think about it. Are you the person? Bloodsuckers and negative people who you. Exactly. And be kind. No drama. Do not talk about others. Hey, Sheila. It is okay, but share your nervousness in a positive way. Of course. We all go places that we're nervous, but you know what? If you don't step out and get out of your house and go to these events, networking meetings, or other places, you will never get over your nervousness, right? Yes. I always say practice makes Perfect. Didn't we all learn that as a child? Practice makes perfect. Of course, it's nervous. You get nervous going to these events, but that is okay. You will feel more and more comfortable as time goes on. If I wouldn't want to spend time with them on vacation, then don't want to be business partners with them. Exactly. If you don't want to just spend, you know, have a lunch with them, then oh no, that's definitely not someone you want to spend time with. Authenticity is Key. Yes, yeah, self-deprecation is a great icebreaker, Nancy. You are too much today. So, yes, yeah, so think about being authentic, being real, you know, letting people know it's fine. If you're nervous, that's fine. If you've never been to an event like this before, that's fine too. Sharing is the new selling. Exactly. Thinking this way and will make it more natural, effortless. Tony says, if you are quiet there, no one will ever hear your story. Exactly. Go see the people, Tony Robbins. Thank you, Sheila. So, we're the sum of the total of the five people we spend the most time with, says Karen. Exactly. And if you're spending time with people that are just, you know, filled with drama, who are negative nillies, it is time to look at the picture and get some new friends, find some new people to hang out with. So those are my main tips, and you guys were great at adding things. Um, and, oh, another thing is, when you're talking with someone, share their emotions. If they're, you know, excited about something, 
get excited with them, right? People love that. If they're sad about something, it's okay to cry with them, right? That's what helps to build the relationships. If they're having joy in their life, you know, join in the joy. Be be with them. Be present. Yes, love we love you too, Miss Miss Karen. So, and you can also share a story from your own life. If it seems like it fits in, if they're telling you a story from their life and something's happening and you can, you know, add to that and share, Chris is listening to, and you can share something from your own life that adds to that, then do it. We do. We become the people that we hang around with. Now, this, you guys were great because you have all, you have all added wonderful things. Positive affirmations support your friends. Exactly, Tony. I've never met you in person, but I can tell I'm really going to like you. And that's just from comments on here. So thank you for being a part of this, Tony. And now I can't wait to meet you. You live in Chandler like I do. So look for those commonalities. Now I have a challenge for all of you today. All right. I know you all love my challenges. You're super excited. So pretend like you are. Woohoo. My challenge for you today is I want you to connect with two people on this live stream who you have not connected with before. Two new people. If you can't find two new people on this live stream, then reach out to someone. Maybe it's a Facebook friend. Maybe it's someone you know on Twitter. Maybe it's someone you met at an event and pick up the phone, call them or reach out to them with an email, make an appointment, set a time to get together with them and to start building that relationship. So it all starts from the connection. So that's my challenge today. Look for two people on this live stream or two people that you might know that maybe you've met an event but you've never reached out to before, pick up the phone, call them or send them an email, send them a message. Nancy is reaching out to you, Mario. There you go. He's a good New York boy. Always genuine self. That's how relationships are made. Exactly. So reach out to those people. You don't need to talk about business. Just start getting to know them, right? Getting to know who they are, where they're from, where they live. Karen Nowicki, Nancy Naylor wants to get together with you too. There you go. Two new people for you, Nancy. So you got a deal. Thanks for the challenge. A perfect celebration for your topic today. Woohoo. All right, my friends. And let me know how it goes, right? I want to hear too. So let me know how that goes. Reach out to people. Just start chatting with them, getting to know them, building that relationship. That is what it's all about. Relationships are the fuel for your small business. It does take time to build them. Of course it does. But let me tell you, it is well worth the time and the effort. All right, friends, have a fabulous day. Listen to them. I have learned that's why, yes, we have two ears and one mouth. We need to keep that mouth closed sometimes and just listen. Just listen, 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 and see how you can be of help to them and see how you can um, get to know them, right? And connect them maybe with someone else in your life. Wouldn't that be fun too? So yes, Tony, Nancy wants to meet you too. So Tony needs to come to seven meeting. <laughs> maybe tomorrow here in Chandler so that we can all meet her. <laughs> all right, friends. Make it a great day. Make some great connections and get out there and build those relationships. All right. Bye-bye.